Hello it is Explorers, thanks for joining us again and welcome back to another informative video on our YouTube channel. On today's episode, we are looking at the reason why there is a high cost of electricity in the African continent. And more importantly, we shall also look at those factors that contribute to the high cost of generating electricity in Africa. And we shall close this particular episode with the reason on how the cost could be reduced in terms of power generation within the continent. So without any more delay, we should just go straight into it. Africa's power sector is facing many challenges. Would the continent expect to expand and also grow in terms of population? New businesses will be added in the coming years or decades. And in this area, the power sector could be a huge thing that could let Africa not becoming more competitive mainly due to insufficient generation capacity which has limited electricity supply resulting in low access the main obstacle to increase in electricity generation capacity in the continent is as a result of the high cost of producing electricity forcing governments to subsidize consumption when you draw back to 2010 the average effective electricity tariff in africa was about 0 0.14 uh, US dollar cent uh, that's per kilowatt per hour against an average of over 0 0.18 kilowatt in production cost. Consumption is effectively subsidized but with significant disparities among African countries. Just for example, while electricity tariff in South Africa and Zambia are among the lowest in the world, Prices in Djibouti and Gabon are among the highest globally. African countries should adopt efficient schemes of electricity pricing in order to foster the development of a viable and well-functioning power industry. The average tariffs in Africa are also much higher than in other developing regions. For example, when you consider the figures of 2010, the average effective tariff in South Asia was 0.04 kilowatt per hour, while that for East Asia was 0.07 kilowatt. Looking at those figures to considering Africa, looking at a disadvantage. So in this episode, here are the factors that contribute to the highest cost of generating electricity in the African continent. If you are new to this channel, we would encourage you to subscribe and share our videos to your different network. The national power system and geographical constraints. The most effective and cost effective way of generating electricity is through large power plants, which allows for economic of scale. In Africa, the power generation industry is dominated by a costly small scale power system. Although small scale power generation systems are useful for connecting remote areas for national grid, they lead to higher transmission and also distribution costs mainly arising from electrical losses. Geographical constraints also affect the African continent, representing additional constraints to development of electricity market in the African continent. In countries where electricity is mainly generated through a hydroelectric power station, availability and reliability of power is highly dependent on the weather condition. During periods of poor rainfall or heavy floodings, Power shortages and also disruptions can be frequent occurrence. Those uneven weather even also add up to cost of generating and transmitting electricity in countries with challenging geographical conditions. When you consider fossil fuel-based generation, fossil fuel-based power generation is the single largest source of electricity generation in Africa. However, fossil fuel are the most expensive means for generating electricity, and this could be a uh, exacerbated by the high fuel prices. In a number of countries, emergency energy solutions, while constitute a large part of installed capacity, also rely mostly on fossil fuel energy. The cost of emergency generation are in the range of just over 0.2 to up to 0.3 per kilowatt of the US dollars, which is much higher than the cost of conventional generation of electricity. Something more, looking at the low demand for electricity, which makes electricity more expensive the continent. Although the demand for electricity is growing rapidly in sub-Saharan Africa, from about 153 kilowatts per capita today to about 235 
uh, kilowatt they consider that to improve up to 2021 it is low compared to the global average of 2730 kilowatts if you look into records however including the north african and south africa per capita electricity consumption is about 620 kilowatts coupled with the low tariffs the low demand for electricity does not permit utility companies to generate a good return on their investment. If you are new to this channel, we would encourage you to subscribe and share our videos to your different network. But the question here is how could electricity cost be reduced uh, in terms of the generation in the African continent? Reducing the cost of electricity generation uh, could be a significant improvement uh, for the overall energy supply in the African continent. However, this requires a multi-prolonged policy intervention, bringing together governments and OECD uh, industry players to ensure financial viability of power utilities, exploiting renewable energy sources and liberalizing the energy sector to attract private sector participants could also improve the cost effectiveness of producing electricity. Improving the state of power infrastructure could also reduce transmission leakages and also attendant cost. Exploiting renewable energy sources The short-term cost of electricity generation from renewable energy sources could be prohibited. However, it is in the long term. Fixed costs are likely to offset by the adoption of feed in tariff schemes and also economic scale in generating the logistic capacity. Developing the renewable energy sector should be proceeded with a broader framework of long-term national energy strategies and also scenarios which do not distort the market. There was also to allow the emergence of the reliable national power system based on efficiency energy mixed, which provides national and energy security and reduce the dependency. The another thing that could be done is to liberalization of the power generation industry. Mobilizing the private sector investment in Africa, power sector will strengthen supply condition in the industry. Africa's authorities need to undertake reforms to dismantle obstacles that constrain private investment in the electricity sector. In particular, the regulatory bodies should reform the tariff structure and also remove subsidies in public power utilities to allow for competitive prices setting and also open market. Something more that needs to be done in investing in infrastructure. Currently, the total power capacity installation in Africa is about 147 gigawatts. This is equivalent to a total capacity installation in Belgium and also what China installs uh, every one to two years. Half of the population in Sub-Saharan Africa is expected to remain without access to electricity even in 2030 if things are not being done. In order to overcome the infrastructural challenges, Africa will need to add up to 250 gigawatts between now and also 2030. The magnitude of power infrastructure and investment requires a substantial estimate of almost uh, 40 billion uh, US dollars uh, that was going to be for every year. And also, looking at African uh, uh, government's uh, uh, efforts to shoot skilled resources and also allocate for developmental issues in making sure that this should be an area where it's important to grow those particular resources. More importantly, promoting inter-regional interconnections could be a very useful tool. Regional integration creates economic of scale, permitting for lower cost across the aspect of infrastructure during for to also scale power ahead. Estimates show that regional collaboration could reduce electricity cost in Africa by up to two billion per year. Given the strategic nature of power to the economy, African governments should also uh, build on high levels of trust in order to share in the cost of developing power. The infrastructure is more important to be considered for a long term and the benefits to the African economies. African governments should also collaborate with their development partners in order to build a reliable power sector. The African Development Bank should also support the integration of power sector in more within the African sub-region. If you are new to this channel, we would encourage you to subscribe and share our videos
to your different network. Thanks very much. That's what we got for you with regards to the challenges and the reason why there is a higher electricity cost within the African continent and the reason these costs are increased every time and also and the reason why how could be reduced to the point out and what needs to be done to also promote those aspects that will leverage the African continent in becoming more competitive and also compete in different areas in terms of the energy market. For now, thanks very much for watching. We're looking forward to meeting you in our next episode. We encourage you to watch our other videos and we also appreciate your time. Thank you very much and have a good day. Bye-bye.